Hey everybody, Andreas here with Waymay Rack. We often get questions about what the numbers on carabiners mean and personal preference, but I would only use carabiners certified by either the UIAA or CE. With that said, any carabiner that is certified by either of those two bodies must include the major axis, a minor axis, and the major axis gate open minimum braking strength to which that particular carabiner design has been certified. Those numbers do not, for obvious reasons, reflect what this particular carabiner will break at. But hopefully there's enough consistency in material quality and manufacturing processes that this particular carabiner will break above that number. But there is no guarantee about the strength of any specific piece of gear. But to be certified by CE, it must contain those three numbers and the CE logo, as well as the four digit code that corresponds to the certifying lab that did the testing and certification process. Now these four numbers do not refer to the standard to which it was certified. It's just the lab facility that did it. And in this case, I believe the 2777 lab is in Ireland. CE requires those numbers to be on every product. And then increasingly, manufacturers are putting additional information on the carabiners, which is not required by the certifying bodies. For example, on this Edelrid carabiner, they have what looks like a model number, as well as the date of manufacturing and potentially a batch number. And then in this case, they also have the EN standard to which it was certified. And that's actually pretty uncommon in this case. It is the EN 362-2004B standard, which is for locking carabiners. Interestingly enough, with the EN standards, after the colon, that number is the date in which that particular standard was established. So in this case, 2004. 